Well, here we are in Beijing. We're up very early. It's only got up at five o'clock in the morning from terminal jet lag. And we're getting ready to start our- In the old Hutong areas, which is where prosperous and inexpensive Chinese to live, if you had two stone lines in front of your gates, it showed your stature and your rank. This is Biwanzi Hutong. This entire area dates from like Oh, I think 1100 to 1200. They've been ripping down most of the old Hutong areas, especially they were ripping like crazy in preparation for the Olympics. They, there are very few left. Of course, the people who live in Hutongs would prefer a nice modern apartment building. This gorgeous park is exactly half a block away from the Days Inn and how we found the Days Inn last time. We were cutting through this park, came onto the main street and went, oh my God, a Days Inn. Old Hutong area is all the way behind it. It is exactly a four block walk from the Days Inn to Tiananmen Square and the Forbidden City. That is jammed with tourists. Just a sea of people. And the Chinese are really smart. So almost all the women carry an umbrella to keep some of the sun off them because you have no idea how hot and humid it is. A bunch of exhausted tourists reading their maps, trying to decide what to do next. These children are going somewhere, and what they do is put something on every hand. We're at the north gate of the Forbidden City. It's only 8.30 in the morning. And look what is going on here. Crowds, 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 crowds. And if you'll notice, we're not Westerners. It's mainly the Chinese people who are finally discovering their own homeland. It's a very hot, humid day in Beijing, and you definitely want to get out early to see whatever you can. Didn't we buy Mao watches last time? Mm -hmm. We did. We buy Railings on both sides, so it's easier to just take the old underpacks. Here we go, new hat, new hat. Here are good old Marlboro hats that we bought in, cents. we bought them on the Silk Road, if I remember correctly, but these aren't Marlboro, they say just something in Chinese. At the time, I think we spent 35 cents a hat. And I bought 50 of them. And we bought 50 of them, yes we did. Oh, we just changed hats. <laughs>